Hey fellow gliders, welcome back. Today we're going to continue on with our integration series. Glide, as you know, over the past month has released a bunch of new third-party integrations that you can work seamlessly into your apps without having to know a single line of code. In this video, we're going to take a look at Twilio, a way to send SMS and WhatsApp messages to your users. If you haven't yet enabled integrations, you have to go into your team folder, go to the preview section at the top, and make sure that you toggle on integrations. From there, whenever you're inside of an app, you'll be able to go to settings, integrations, and enable them based upon your tier. Certain integrations are only available for different pricing tiers. So if you want Twilio, you're gonna have to have at least the business tier of Glide. If you wanna play around with Twilio, but haven't upgraded to business yet, you can go to your billing section of your team folder. And at the top, there should be a banner to enable a 14 day free trial of business. That will let you enable Twilio and integrations and play around with it to see if it meets your needs. To get started, the first thing I have to do is head over to the Twilio website and create an account. What's nice is that they do start you off with a free trial. I'll go ahead and click on get started here. As with most API services, you typically have to verify your email to make sure that you are a legit person and not trying to spam their API. Looks like my email has been verified. That's great. Now I have to enter my phone number because you need a verified phone number in order to do things with Twilio. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my phone number now. And I'm gonna get this verification code. Let's go ahead and submit that. And we're in. All right, so now it's gonna ask us which Twilio product we're here to use. I'm gonna do SMS. If you're looking to do WhatsApp, you can select WhatsApp for that. Uh, what do you plan to build with Twilio? Alerts and notifications, sounds good. Um, and I wanna build with Twi uh, Twilio with, how about, eh, no code at all. Now, if I were building this with my own development, I'd probably choose minimal code because I can handle a little bit of JSON and API language, but, um, in this case, I'll do no code at all because most of us are probably no coders. All right, goal today, let's just build something myself and get started. All right, first thing we have to do is get a new Twilio number. I'm gonna go ahead and close down this wizard here and just select get a US toll-free number here. It's gonna give me a randomized number. Once I've gotten my number, I'm gonna scroll down and these are the three things I need at the bottom here. I need my account SID, my authorization token, and my Twilio phone number. Next, we're gonna head back to Glide and select an app where we want to integrate SMS messaging. So let's pretend I have this app, Waiterless. In this app, I want my users to receive text message notifications when certain statuses of their order changes. All right, so I need to go ahead and set up integration here. I'm gonna head to settings, integrations, Scroll down to Twilio, and as long as you have a business plan, you can enable it. I'm gonna to add to app, and now you can see it's asking me for those three things that we saw back on the landing page of Twilio. So I'm gonna head back and forth between Twilio and Glide to copy and paste those three things, starting with the account SID. Wow, that took like no time at all. So what's nice is that I can now just keep working on the Glide side. I don't really have to do much on the Twilio side anymore. Um, eventually, I'm gonna to have to keep adding funds to my balance in order to send out these SMS messages. I might want to tweak things here and there in the settings, but aside from that, uh, we're pretty much good to go. So now we have to figure out where we want those SMS alerts. So for me, I want SMS alerts to happen first when a user submits an order. So let's head to somebody who maybe has an order in the queue right now. So when this user submits an order, I want them to receive a text message that says your order is being prepared. So we're gonna head to our button and we're gonna create a new action that does those things. Now this submit order button is gonna do a couple of things. It needs to one, write the value of submitted to a status column. Maybe we're doing a couple of other things. We're gonna maybe wanna notify the kitchen staff as well. But for our intents and purposes, we're gonna keep things super simple. I'm just gonna change a status and then send a text message. So since I need to do two things, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my actions here and create a new action. The first thing here is to change the status using a set column. So I'll change the status to submitted. And then we're gonna send a text message to our user. So we're gonna tap into the Twilio API and we're gonna do send an SMS message. Again, if you're doing WhatsApp, you'll just send a WhatsApp message instead. Um, either way, you need to have the phone number of the person that you are messaging. So I'm already collecting that information from the user um, as part of the order. So I'll be able to just select that field here under the recipient. So as part of my order, I have a phone number field 
Okay. So when a user goes to submit their order, they have to type in a phone number or their WhatsApp or something like that. Or um, if the phone number is already part of their user profile, you can pull that in from a lookup column after a relation. And here's the message. I'm going to go ahead and just paste in this message saying that um, the order has been placed. We'll notify you when it's ready. All right, let's hit close. And um, I'm going to go ahead and share my phone over here in the top right hand corner, just so you can see that the text message indeed is going to come in when I submit this order. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tap on submit order. All right, so the status should have changed and I should receive a text message here any second with that message. And there it is. Now, because I have a Twilio trial account, it actually says so. Um, here it says your waiterless order has been placed. We'll notify you when it's ready. So that message did come through. Um, if you didn't receive a message, that means that you still need to set up a verified phone number. Um, in order to do that, head to your console within Twilio here, and there should be an option here under your account to set up your verified phone numbers somewhere in uh, the link at the bottom here. All right, so that's awesome. So whenever a user places a new order, they can receive a text message saying that it's being prepared. And now we want an SMS message to appear when the meal has actually been prepared by the kitchen staff. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this so we can see what we're doing here. So let's pretend that we have a section in the app for the kitchen staff to see orders that have come in based upon their status. You can see this one's submitted. And let's say the kitchen staff prepares this meal and now want to send an SMS that it's been completed. So we need an action somewhere in here to alert the user. Um, to keep it simple, I'm just gonna build in an action right here on the collection side of things. So under collection actions, you see here I created a new action. Um, this action is to uh, mark prepared. And same thing, setting a column value where the status is prepared and then sending an SMS message to the phone number of the user that says, hey, good news, you're ready, your order's ready for pickup. All right, we're gonna hit close on here and let's go ahead and access once again our phone here and let's go ahead and mark this as prepared. So now we see my order has been prepared and I should receive a new message. There we go. Good news, your waiterless order is ready for pickup. So you see that's, that's like instant. That's what I love about Glide integrations is that I didn't have to do a single line of coding and I get this instant integration with these third-party tools. And so you can obviously start seeing some of the potential that comes along with having a Twilio integration with SMS messaging. All right, if you have any questions at all about how to set this up for your own app, feel free to leave me a comment below. You can also reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.